if you're not using any calls into the circuit container, you don't need a circuit container. So you're not paying for that extra OSGI pump. You're not paying for that overhead. So um, there's some definitely nice things about the way we've done things. And with JRuby, um, we also have uh, a gem. So if you have, if you're a Ruby developer, uh, you can say gem install uh, Glassfish. It'll install Glassfish V3 gem. And you could use that as your runtime. And I think that right now, um, JRuby is the fastest runtime out there for, for Ruby apps. Right? Um, and if you're running top of uh, Glassfish, then you get all the management capabilities that Glassfish has. And you can call into the Java API if you want to. How does the uh, uh, code uh, package inside of Wi-Fi access the, the polygon which is supposed to know which How can JRuby call Java? Is that the question? No, or you're you package your uh, code in a WAR file, uh -huh. right? But, but your service is in a OSGI bundle, right? How do you... Well, it's, it's an either or, where if you package it as a WAR file, you're bundling the JRuby jar file, the runtime, with the web application. And Warbler basically um, is the bridge between um, the JRuby runtime and the servlet stuff, right? And that's how you get it running that way. The other way is you don't have a WAR file at all, and you just point to your generated JRuby application. And if Glassfish sees that, it'll actually just uh, deploy the, uh, the Ruby app without a WAR file at all. I think my question asked that's good. Ruby is JRuby. Mm -hmm. It's more like a, if I'm a developer, I mean, I'm, I'm constrained by this, this web container, right? Mm -hmm. So if I want to use a service, which at the OSGI, somehow I have to access that service reference. How do I do that? If you want to use an OSGI service right. from a Java application. Right. Uh, I know there's ways of doing it. I don't know exactly how to do it. If you already just say, I look up my GNDI environment, I right. get object reference, right? but here, I mean, so you always get service, right? Right. right. How, do you, how do you make that? Yeah, um, I don't know exactly how that's done. Um, I think Google is the right answer. Oh. <laughs> Google it. Okay. So I, I know that we, for example, uh, you know, if, if you take the Spring DM module and you can actually install that on top of Glassfish and use Spring DM directly, right? So there's. Um, you know, there's ways of using other OSGI modules, but exactly what the API is for that I haven't done. So I kind of lean our engineers to answer those questions. Um, that's a good question. So, um, 